I must say, for those of you looking at me thinking, I can't believe he's doing this, carrying all this stuff. Um, when I left yesterday uh, to just go to the airport to you know, fly from Boston to Washington, my wife looked at this and just said, you're not really taking that, are you? They're all going to laugh at you. But I just thought, um, well, you know, better I'm well prepared. So I'm, I'm prepared for anything you might ask. Um, all right, here it goes. Um, first, uh, it's an honor to be at Georgetown. Um, as uh, Randy Bass just said, I was here, I guess it was just about 10 years ago, in the earliest stages of the work that I will now tell you about. And really, all joking aside, uh, you will hear a couple of findings that are expansions, for those of you who heard me 10 years ago, that are expansions and extensions of what I, um, uh, of what I presented years ago. But a lot of them will be, a lot of the findings will be new. And in addition to that, um, one of the things I want to emphasize this morning, and I hope you will hold my feet to the fire on this, is in every case when I share a result, an idea, a suggestion, a finding of any kind with you, I hope you will ask and press me if I don't remember to say it out loud. So what changed on your campus as a result of that finding? Because every one of you in this room, and I, know very well it's perfectly possible to do unending research and publish articles, article after article in you know, academic journal after academic journal. The real question is, what changes at Harvard? Or what changes at Georgetown? Or what changes at you know, Stanford or Duke or any, choose a school? Um, what changes somewhere because of a assessment finding? So that's, that's my hope for this morning. And I'll talk, um, um, well, for what? about Randy, what, how long do we have? Just give me an update. When should I stop? Uh, around 11, we'll want to transition. All right, so, a little bit after is okay. all right, a little bit after. So it's about noon? <laughs> all right, no, I'll, I'll wrap up by about 11. All right, um, here goes. So 45 minutes, I'm gonna try to squeeze in as much as I can, and um, then you'll have time. Breakout groups, lunch, and I'm available the whole time to answer questions, and I'd love to. That's the, the whole point of being here. Um, all right, let me begin from the beginning. I'd like to take about four minutes just to do the background of how all the work on at least my campus began, following up actually on what Kathy uh, presented uh, as some of your challenges, because I have something to say about some of your challenges. Um, and then uh, I want to just present a whole bunch of findings to you. And I guess I'll just ask, uh, as I present, Ask your, I invite you, I invite you with, respectfully to ask yourselves which of the findings that you hear from Dick Light, you know, for, as I present them, uh, which of, it sounds, I sound like Bob Dole, when, which of the findings when you hear from Bob Dole? Anyway, um, which, uh, which of the findings that I present apply here at Georgetown, and frankly, which don't? You know, it will not be stunning if I present eight things and you say, well, I really like five of them. The other three are irrelevant uh, to my work and to what I do. You know, it's, that would not be a stunning thing. So here goes, the beginning. I'm a regular full-time faculty member at Harvard, meaning I've got a full teaching load. Uh, I advise students. I have a whole bunch of advisees. I teach freshmen. I teach seniors. And I teach some graduate students. Um, why am I telling you that? You know, did some of you may be saying, did, did this guy come all the way to Georgetown just to tell us his troubles? Um, and the answer is no. I just want you to know everything you now hear comes from the perspective of a faculty member. I'm not, a, I'm not a provost. I'm not a dean. I'm not a department chair. I'm not a president. I do not lust to be any of the above. Um, very happy doing what I do. So here goes. Imagine you're in my shoes. In the late 1980s, basically nearly 20 years ago, I was sitting at my office desk and I get a buzz from the lovely young woman who works as the sort of assistant telephone answering person for several of us in, on the faculty. Her name is Laura. And Laura buzzes me on the intercom. Here's the exact conversation, and you'll have the whole background in two minutes. Um, this is the exact conversation nearly verbatim. Laura said to me, Dick, Dick, with a slight tremor in her voice, Dick, the president's on the line. Late, late 1980s. Honest to goodness, my first thought was, wow, I was not expecting President Reagan's call <laughs> this afternoon. Well, anyway, um, I, I couldn't put that in any of my books, because how do you write 